Hi everybody, today we have another mail call. We have some cool Disney, we have some Marvel zombies, and we have some more San Diego Comic Con uh, pops. So we'll get going right after this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, we're gonna start with the San Diego Comic Con pops. And originally, like I said, I got, I thought I said originally in the last video, or one of the other videos I did that I had got everything I wanted except the Jack in the Box. But then as I started seeing more of them online, as people opening them, I thought they were really cool. So now that it kind of died down, or things, so the prices have dropped on a lot of them um, in buying them, but their value has gone up. So I've lucked out and I went on Mercari and eBay and was able to get a, a few more of them that I really wanted, so I wanted to show those to you. So this is one of the first ones I got, and let me show you who it is. I mean, the back packing wasn't really good, but that's okay. And this one is, like I said, I'm not really big on a lot of... So the next first one I got was the Marty, the Back to the Future one, Marty checking his watch. This was really kind of cool. Um, I do like Back to the Future, the movie and everything, but I thought this one was a really cool one. Um, at first I wasn't going to get it, but I thought it was really cool. So, so let me show you what Marty looks like. Marty right here, he's got little sunglasses, he's got the little jacket on, that puffy jacket he wears. It's really cute. I like this. Back to the future. Okay, so here's the next box. Um, I'm not really sure which one this is because like I said, I ordered quite a few and they've all kind of been trickling in. So we can kind of do it like a mystery box and see which one it is. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. I know which one it is now. I actually bought this one for a friend of mine. Um, and I liked it so much that I went ahead and just got another one uh, for me. And this one is this one here. This is the Vex Ayala from Critical Role. Uh, very cool. It's a cool witch and everything. I thought this was a really cool one. After I got hers, I was like kind of jealous because, oh, I should have bought myself one too. So I, I got a really good deal on this one too. So this one's really cool. Here she is right here. It's kind of cool. I mean, I don't play this game, but I just thought it was a cool looking pop. Um, this will go great because I'm setting up a Halloween display of some of my Halloween pops like my Nightmare and then I have the Sanderson sisters coming and things so she actually would fit in there pretty well. So maybe I'll add her to that um, Halloween um, display. And um, oh, huh, there's, a, there's another one in here. I didn't order two from this guy, from this person. Huh. I don't know if he made a mistake but he gave me another pop so hey it's my lucky day. Let's see what it is. I only ordered the Vex one. That's weird. But let's see. I mean, I'm not complaining. I got a free pop. Hey, you know, I wasn't charged for it. I know that. So what is it? I don't even know what it is. Oh, wow. It's even a chase. Yes. Yes. From Ralph Breaks the Internet. Wow. It's even a chase. Huh. I feel bad because I don't know if somebody bought this and is missing it, but you know, I guess it's my gain. I guess. I don't know. I, maybe I'll message him and see what he says um, about this. So very cool. Alright, huh. I'm this one and show you. I wasn't planning on this one, but okay, cool. So like I said, I will message the guy that I bought this from to let him know and see what he says. Um, but, you know, hopefully he says to keep it or whatever. I don't know, but very cool. So that's cool. She's all shiny and everything. This is nice. I, don't even, I have no idea how much she's worth. Um, it is a chase, so maybe it's my lucky day. We'll see. Okay, I did message the guy um, from Mercari and let him know what happened with this. And he said because I had talked to him for a while back and forth about this one, that he thought I was a really nice person and stuff like that. Um, he actually just gave me this one as a bonus. Um, that was really nice of him, you know, to thank me for buying this one um, and hoping that next time I see him on Mercari, I'll buy more from him. That was really nice. And this is like a chase. So that was great of him. Nice of him to do that. So I will definitely, I guess it works because I definitely will be buying more uh, pops from him. So that was very cool. So let's see what else we have from Amazon right here. So let's see what we have here from Amazon. We can do a kind of we can do a kind of mystery box style so you can see it first before I do. Um, like I said, I'm not sure. It says Marvel, so maybe it is. I think I know which one it is, but you can see it right there. Yeah, it's the Captain Marvel dark one right here. Um, I originally had this when it first opened. It first came online with Amazon because it is an Amazon exclusive. 
I had it in my cart. I even purchased it, but then I changed my mind. But then after I saw it and it looked really cool out, I said, you know what? And they came back up again. So I ended up just getting it. It was the same price that it originally was. So that was cool. So, so let me show you what this one looks like. It's right here, Dark Captain Marvel. It really is a cool looking pop. It's neat. Different, definitely different. I don't know the story behind it, but it's really a cool pop. So very cool. Okay, this is another one right here. Let's see what this one is. Um, like I said, these are all San Diego Comic Con ones. Um, so I'm trying to get a little late to the to the race, but I caught up. So let's see. Oh, this one is wrapped. It's a trash bag. So, but oh, okay, it's all wrapped up. Your bubble wrap, cool. So let me open this up for you. I'm not a big um, Hello Kitty fan. Um, I don't own any other Hello Kitties and everything. I have friends that really love Hello Kitty and stuff. Um, but I still thought it was kind of cute. It is the San Diego Comic Con one and it's this one right here, the Hello Kitty robot. Very cute. I think this was a GameStop exclusive one, but this is really cute. So let me show you him. Right here, very cute. Cute. It is cute. Okay, and this is my last um, San Diego Comic Con one. So let's see what this one is. Um, like I said, I didn't get them for monetary value. I don't collect for monetary value. I mean, it's a bonus that they've gone up in value since I purchased them, and I didn't pay more than they were worth. Um, I'm pretty much close. Most of these run for about $15 when they were first came out. And honestly, all of them were right around that amount, or actually even a little bit lower, like the Marty one. It was like $12 and things so I actually did really well by waiting until all of it died down and stuff so if you can't get them sometimes you know that's the better way, better bet to do than to try to get them when they first come out because you actually pay I actually paid less money than if I had bought them the day that they opened it came online okay so. and like I said and then this one is from Pokemon Right here, like I said, I'm not, I don't really collect Pokemon, but like I said, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I like different things, and this one is a flocked one. So, this is Vulpix, and he's flocked. I just thought he was kind of cute, and everything. little doggy, he looks cute and everything, and I like doggies. So, at least I think he's a doggy, but let me show you this one outside of the box. So, he's very cute, he's all fuzzy and everything. Oh, it's like, it's like cute, oh, cheeto, almost cheeto color. He's cute. Oh goodness, I am glad I got him. He's like a little foo-foo -fo doggy. Very cute. Very cool. So these were all my San Diego Comic Con ones that I got. So like I said, I got the Marty with the watch. I got the dark Captain Marvel. I got the uh, Hello Kitty robot. The little Vulpix uh, flocked one. And the Critical Role one. Okay, and then a bonus Ralph meets the internet one. So that was cool. So those are great um, part of the great uh, great finds that I got online um, for my uh, Comic Con collection. I have a few of the other ones that I got um, earlier when it first broke and everything, like the um, Superman and a couple of the other ones. So um, we have a couple more things in my mail call. Let me show you what those are. So obviously, with the name name Connie loves. Uh, Pops and Disney. Disney is one of my favorite things next to my Pops. I probably well, it's actually number one versus the Pops, ironically, but it is. Um, and my favorite ride, if you know me, at um, Disneyland is the Haunted Mansion. So when this one came out, this is the Victor Guest one. Um, I stayed up until midnight to get this because it always breaks at midnight. Uh, as soon as 12:01 hit, it came live on Shop Disney, and Miss Connie got one, and he's right here. He is really cool. So let me show you what Victor looks like outside of the box. And here he is right here. And luckily he was not broken. Um, Shop Disney is not known for their packing. I mean, he was in a huge box you know, with just like one little piece of tissue paper. I don't know what they expected the Disney tissue paper to do, but definitely didn't help. But thank goodness he was not broken. But this is so cool. I have a big Haunted Mansion um, display that I'm going to set up with I have this one 
and I have the, the mansion coming with the butler and then the other set that's coming that has the chases of Constance and all of those and Alexander are all coming in a couple of weeks hopefully so I'm going to set that up and when I have it set up I'll definitely show you but this one is just too cool and I know that it sold out right away because when I went back and checked like about six in the morning or seven they were all gone already so he was definitely worth staying up till midnight for but really cool amazing looking pop if you didn't know it is the uh, 65th anniversary of uh, Walt of Disneyland opening it's been open for 65 years and to commemorate that um, Funko I guess partnered with Disney and they have a whole bunch of Funko Pops coming up coming out to, to commemorate this. So I was able to get the, one of the, the first ones that came out so far and this is what's in this box. So let me show you what this is. This is so cool. Okay, and here it is. It is the Matterhorn Bobsled Attraction and Donald Duck. I love how this just looks so old. It looks like it's an old box and everything, just the design on it. It is too cool. I had seen it, you know, online like this but until you see it you can't appreciate it but it does it looks like it's old you know like it's 65 years old or something that was came up out on the first day of the park opening this is really cool and then you can see all the other ones that are coming out um, i did get these so far i have the other donald and the mickey one i want we want the castle and they have a train that um is all going to fit together and stuff so i'm hoping to get that too and then these little minis right here are real cool. So I want all of it. Actually, I want everything. So this is very cool. But this is the first one. So let me show you what Donald looks like outside of the box. At first, I wasn't going to get this one only because I have the original one, which is this one right here. But you can see this one is the more version, uh, modern looking um, bobsled right here. This is this one. And this one actually does look like the older one. So this one is cool because it looks like the older original one. To go with it and everything this is very cute so these are both really cool so they're both going to look great in my collection so this is our last item um this is also from amazon it's a cute box it's like the mrs mazel um box it's something it's really cool i don't know if you i watched that show i don't know if you've ever seen it and it's really funny um, the marvelous mrs mazel it's really a funny show um if you haven't seen it you should definitely check it out so let me show you what's in here and like I said, um, so our first one is the Zombie Hulk right here. So these are Marvel Zombie ones. Um, I actually have the other ones coming. I have the, um, what is it, the, the Deadpool coming. And I actually have the, um, the Wolverine coming. But the Wolverine is actually um, from Entertainment Earth. And it's the Glow in the Dark one. So that one hasn't come yet. But this is the uh, Marvel Zombie Hulk. And that's really cool. Let me show you what he looks like. Here's the Marvel Zombie Hulk right here. Very cool. Scary. Cool. The next one is the Marvel Zombie Deadpool. He's right here. Very cool. And I'll show you what that one looks like. He is right there. Ooh, he's all creepy too. Got a knife stuck in him and everything. Very cool. He's got no arm. He's missing his arm and everything. Oh goodness. Huh. So these are the so these are the two zombie ones that I got. I I did get from GameStop the Venom one, and I already have that one out on my display for Halloween. And like I said, the other one is coming is the Wolverine um, Glow in the Dark one from Entertainment Earth. I didn't get the Mysterio one because it's not really my thing, but these are really cool. Okay, so one of the things that I do like to do are the mystery boxes. If you've seen my videos, I do a lot of mystery boxes in hopes of you know getting you know the prizes, top prizes, everything. And I've been doing really well with those. Um, but also in doing those, I've kind of been um, been able to get different ones that I normally wouldn't collect, like some um, Dragon Ball Z and some other ones um, that really aren't my you know, weren't really my thing, but they're really kind of cool looking pops that I normally wouldn't buy. But because I got them in a mystery box, I really like them. So this one, I was, you know, scanning on Instagram and they said, oh, this one is back up and everything. And it's actually, I think about, you know, 30 or $35 pop. And Amazon had them again, and I again I paid like like ten dollars for it, ten or twelve bucks for it. And he's really cute and everything. And then, like I said, I wouldn't have got like I, said, I don't do it for the monetary, but the fact that I liked him, and the fact that he is worth more, almost double what I paid for, it was a bonus. But I thought he was really cute and everything. And when I saw it, I had to get him, and it's this one right here from Dragon Ball Z. 
And this one is Goo Goo Eating Noodles. I just thought it was really cute because it's sitting there eating the noodles and everything. It's just cute. And like I said, I think he goes for about $35, $40. And like I said, I think I paid like $12 for him, including shipping. With, well, I have, have Prime, so it's free. But still, it's very cool. So let me show you what he looks like. Here he is right there. That is very cute. <laughs> he's eating the noodles there. He's got a little halo and everything. So hair going. Yeah, it's cute. That is a really cute one. I like that. Okay, so that was our mail call for today. Of course, obviously, I liked all of them. Uh, of course, my favorite is the Haunted Mansion one. Um, this one is so awesome. I just love this. I mean, now that I think about it, I should have bought two. But that's okay. I don't like to be greedy. And I'm just like I said, only collect one of everything. Um, but he's really cool. I don't think I'm going to put him... I'm. I mean, I definitely will save the box. I think I will take him out you know, for the display, but I'll definitely keep the box. Um, of course, I like the Donald one too. I thought he's really cool. I probably won't open him up or put him on display uh, just because I already have the other Matterhorn one out on display, uh, but still he's very cool. And I loved all my zombies. I like this little guy eating the noodles. All my San Diego Comic-Con ones are really cool. Um, let me know which ones were your favorite. Um, obviously, of course, me, you know, Disney is mine. Um, which ones were your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and please hit that like and bell notification so you know when I drop any more videos. And thank you for watching and you guys all have a magical day. Bye-bye, everybody.